What's up, everybody? It's your man's KJ the Great dropping another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say, I hope and pray everything is great your way. Now, let's talk about one of these rising star boxes. That being the businessman, Keyshawn Davis, who would have been 10 wins, no losses, no draws, with six wins by way of knockout. His last fight was a majority decision. Although I saw him winning, no, well, you could say eight out of the 10 rounds. But all in all, uh, the judges saw what they saw and uh, they scored it a majority decision in his favor. But that fight is now being overturned, and uh, it's being overturned as a no contest due to Keyshawn Davis fell in the drug test. A lot of people were saying, man, what kind of drugs was he on? What was he doing? Well, let this be a lesson to all you up-and-coming boxers, amateur, pro, whatever. In the words of Stephen A. Smith, stay off the weed. Stay off the weed. That's what he failed his drug test for. Now, he failed the drug test. The fight's uh, no contest. He also received a 90-day suspension. So we possibly won't see him back into the ring until February, sometime in February, mid, late February, uh, maybe early February at the earliest, but on time sometime in February. Um, I think Keyshawn Davis is a exceptional fighter. Um, he has a good amount of skill where he's at right now. He's developing. He's on the right track. We know he has seemingly built up a slight rivalry, rivalry, excuse me, with um, also lightweight title contender, Frank the Ghost Martin. Um, there were talks about them potentially having a fight sometime soon, but as we know, uh, you know, all great things take time to build. I believe that'll be a good fight when it happens. If it does happen at some point within the next year or two, maybe I'd say maybe two or three years, maybe uh, at the latest when it does happen. Um, But in order for that to happen, you have to get to that point. You have to stay clean to get to that point. Um. I believe it'll happen at lightweight. You know, um, as you guys know, the lightweight titles were tied up between um, Devin Haney, as seeing as he was the undisputed lightweight champion who has moved up to junior welterweight to challenge Regis Ruru Progre for his title, WBC title. Um, also, just so people who don't know, Regis. Regis Progray is a two-time WBC junior welterweight champion. So that's going to be an interesting fight. But all in all, um, let's just hope that um, this does not hinder the career of Keyshawn Davis because he was supposed to fight Jose Pedraza next. That fight was supposed to take place in December. He fight in October, right back in camp. Right back to it in December. So he was on the right right track, right pace. Um, like I said, he's learning and developing really, really nice. I saw him fight um, in Shawnee, Oklahoma, when uh, it was on the undercard of um, Cambosis versus Maxi Hughes. I thought in that fight, he fought really, really well. He got a knockdown, unanimous decision in that fight. I thought it was one of his better fights to, to date. Um. <clears throat> One thing I feel like he needs to stop doing is kind of being too laxed and playing with his opponents. Um, 
you know, showboating a little bit. Um, it's it, it, you know, you put the showmanship into it, no doubt about it. I, everybody does it, but sometimes I feel like he does it a little overboard. But um, as long as you get the win, nobody's gonna complain. If you come out and you showboating and you take a L or you barely get the win, you know, a split decision or majority decision. You know, people start to say those type of things. Me, I've been saying it for a while. I feel like he should just go in, take care of business, and then let the business do the talking. Um, <clears throat> but I do uh, think that he will uh, get the fight with Jose Pedraza if he's willing to wait. If Pedraza is willing to wait, I do believe he'll get that fight in February. Um, that'll be an interesting fight. It's a major step up. In competition um for him you know uh jose petraza he was a, he's a really good fighter and uh a lot of people um count him out at this stage but i wouldn't um i wouldn't say he's uh elite but he's definitely one of the top guys um you know you can throw him in the you can throw him in the top 10 maybe on the the, the bottom side of the top 10 but he's this for Keyshawn Davis is still um, a step up in competition by a long shot uh, compared to the guys that he's fought. No knock on the guys he's fought because, you know, you have to go through these guys to get to where you want to be. So, um, yeah, let's just hope that Keyshawn Davis um, stays off the weed and gets his career back on track and uh, he stays focused, stays in the gym and uh, let's just see um, how uh, what comes in February. But that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Follow me on Instagram at All Sports Media TV. Follow me on my other Instagram at KJ the Great O Nine. I thank you guys for tuning in. Um, as you can hear, been sick, had surgery a little while back. Um, so you know, just trying to get things back in order, get back healthy, strong, and I uh, got some more stuff coming for you guys. Peace.